This is our second strike. The first one was from the 15th to the 17th of January. That's the second one from the 4th to the 8th. Last time we had the strike, there was a lot of music. But today, being Shabbat, out of respect for the Jewish community, we have decided to still protest, but without the music. striking for 12 pounds for a decent living wage for sick pay and annual leave. We are asking for the same as NHS. I've been working for church nursing home for 19 years. Over the 19 years, I had a three pound increase, 16 p per year. The rate for a domestic and a laundry staff at Sage Nursing Home start from 8.72. A junior healthcare assistant earn £9.10. A senior healthcare assistant earn £9.60. That's not enough. £12! £12! Before we used to get extra increment to working on a Saturday, increment to work on a Sunday. And that was taken away from us. I'm a night staff worker. Night work is not socialized hours. It's not easy to work at night. We get the same money. I have COVID myself, but uh, I didn't have any symptoms. I was 10 days at, at home, and after they pay me less than 200 pounds. I know of staff that came to work, and they, uh, they were sick, but they say they can't afford to stay at home because how are they gonna pay their bills at the end of the month? I broke my leg, and I was six months at home, sick, and I suffering by not having to seek payment. I'm starting to spend my credit card and I have to go to bank and take a loan to pay the cards. And I'm still paying my loan. I have to go to charity and take food from the charity to survive. Every human being wants to be treated with respect. We're not donkeys. We're not robots. We are people with feelings. This job should be valued. This society has the values of humanity very low. We enjoy our work. We're looking after the vulnerable. We're looking after somebody else's loved one. Each one of them has complex needs. And we are here to help them, to give them dignity. You have to deal with people with dementia, with different things, people that are dying. And you have to be there to look after them physically. Sometimes they are crying and you have to be there listening. There's not everybody who can do this job. And this is our passion. We don't want to work somewhere else. This is the work we like, we love, and this is what we want to do. But we do need respect and dignity and a bit of recognition. And more money, of course. One, 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 one. One, two, three, four. Two, two, three, two. One, two, three, four. very hard work. Us, as a carers, cleaners, maintenance, everywhere. I start at 8 o'clock, I think at 8.30, 12 hour shifts. I work six days in a week. Saturday there is no laundry. So on Sundays it's a double job. We have to wash all the residents' clothes, bed sheets, towels, uniform for the carers, uniform for the nurses. We try to keep the virus away from Sage, you know, Sage Home, to protect Sage and to protect the residents as well. We work very hard. I'm asking for another person to help in the laundry because we are only two, but they don't listen. The response has been very, very slow. After our first strike from the 15th to the 17th, after seven days, we receive a letter saying that they want a negotiation. So at the moment, the ACAS is planning the negotiation. We haven't yet, yet any confirmation because we want to show that we are positive and we want together to find a solution. We invited the board for a meeting to hear our grievance because the management 
don't hear our, about our grievance. They turned up yesterday at 8 o'clock to 9.30, we had a meeting with them. We voice all our grievances and now they're still waiting. We don't believe that they haven't got money. Sage gets a lot of support from the community, from Barnet Council, from the government. It's a private place. A place where people there are paying a lot of money to do this. Oh, hey! The last time they updated the CARE Act was in 2014. What does it speak about the response of the government, the way they deal with the problems of aging? Now is a wake-up call. Everywhere, every community, whether the nursing or whether the cleaner, whether the maintenance staff, people need to come together and ask their management why we have to be in a lower wage. Every day, the different governments take more and more rights of the workers. And I think we should get all together, not just all of us, you no, know, all the country, all the workers, get together and change this kind of society. Left, right, left. Left, right, left.